Welcome to Trading Lounge and the gold and silver report for the 19th of May. So no real change over the last, uh, from yesterday or the other day. So we're looking at, um, well, close up to the 1900 area here, which will be the 50 and the 61.8% retracement level. Gold tends to work with the 50% retracement level quite a lot. So we just need to be aware of um, resistance before the 1900, but obviously it's a really strong supply. Uh, area as well. Uh, in terms of counting, um, as you know, we're looking at wave one and two here, and then one and two here, and then moving up into the third wave here. So we'll be looking for the fourth wave, uh, fifth wave, and so on. Uh, it is possible to use wave one and two here if we compare that to GDX and GDL and those sorts of things. Uh, however, in this particular space here, I feel that this uh, third wave here is just hasn't really sort of finished off properly so um, uh, so yeah it's um, I'm using that low there for this let's just uh, cruise on in so from the low there we're looking at it as uh, wave one and two and one and two here and then it's stretching out really quite nicely for this wave uh, three up here uh, closing in on blue wave three here so this could be counted differently we could count as one two three four and going up for wave five and commodities do tend to extend in the uh, fifth wave so if you've got it like that that's okay it will all become clearer later on when we start um, working about two-thirds of the way through the trend but we're not we're not there yet and it doesn't really matter too much um, like I said, the 50-60% retracement levels around the 1900 area here, below and above. So that's good cause to see a wave 4 correction uh, play out. Now this wave 4 can pull back to the wave 4 of one lesser degree, but normally we could lift it up uh, somewhat as well um, with this. So uh, yeah, let's go in and just check on this a little bit further into the one hour chart. So we've got blue wave one and two here, then one and two and three and four here. We've been working through all of that. And then moving up here. So yesterday, we looked at the tick chart here yesterday and pulled that apart. But I can just say to you that it's one and two and three and four and five. in here for the third wave we we're looking for the fourth wave yesterday the fourth wave could pull back to the fourth wave of one lesser degree but I mentioned that we were in group two and that tends to um, markets tend once they get in there and get that support there they tend to sort of stick there a little bit so we won't expect a deep retracement but we're still looking for another move to the upside now this wave four could get bigger and uglier but it makes a nice little ABC as an expanded flat. So we'll be moving up. Will it reach 1900? I don't know, but there's that's where the supply is. So we're looking at um, <clears throat> taking, well, you don't have to do anything really, but um, what we need to be aware of, aware of is that let's this blue wave four, that's what I'm sort of thinking. So from blue wave two down below here, I'll just put this at the 1900 and you can adjust it from that point. So we can see that the 38.2% retracement levels coming in around this space here. So you need to make up your mind. Will you hold that? Will you work the market? What will you do at that particular point, you know, for this? So let's just shaping this up a little bit here I mean wave fours can get pretty ugly so I won't put too much emphasis on that but that's the 1840 um, it could come back to may not but that's where it is depending on how strong things are and um, I also didn't want to move the stop up um, any further than where it is at the moment as well I know it's a long way away from the market but we want to be able to get through wave four. We don't want, you know, because the market's still in a trend to the upside. So we're looking up at uh, 2,200, say, just roughly. It could be at 100, it could be at 300. Um, but either way, um, yeah, so we need to survive this wave four. That's all. So if you want to take some money off the table here, of course, I will do my best to get us back in over this side. But probably best to leave the skin in the game especially if you're a new trader because um, it's not always easy as you think it is to get back in once you're in so um, 
yeah, just bear that in mind. Okay, so look, all pretty sort of simple really at this point. We'll have a look at um, silver as well. Find that silver chart. So silver here, I've counted it slightly different as one and two and three and four here and going up for wave five here. It's probably not the right count, but this wave move through here really appealed to me as a wave four rather than, than than one and two and one and two, which is probably right as a one and two uh, because we're seeing that nice extension there. But we've got to be careful because commodities tend to extend in the fifth wave rather than the rather than the third wave. So anyway, we'll count this in both ways. But the interesting thing about this though is that once this top comes into play here, we'll still need to lift that up a little bit further. Um, we'll look at that in a bit more, we'll look at that in a bit more detail. But what I'm saying here is that this could pull back quite deeply here. So that means that you just need to be mindful um, of that. And um, yeah, and we'll obviously work that side of the trade out, but I don't think this is the right count. I think it's probably more on this one hour chart where we've got blue wave one here and blue wave two here and one and two here for that, um, and then counting up. So this is in line with gold, of course, and one and two and three and four. We've got an overlap there. So that could be wrong as well. That could be one and two and one and two here. So, you know, it's something that we need to acknowledge and uh, see how that plays out a little bit further along the, along the way. So we're at 28 here. So I was thinking that we'd get a classic trading levels pattern across the 28 here. So the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level. So you know the routine now. So the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, then the corrective pattern, and then over here. So that 28 becomes the balance line for this. And we want to have our entries over this side. So you want to be careful about um, you know controlling your FOMO at that point. So with this here, we can see that gold wants to push up a little bit further. So there's probably another little push here, but just be mindful about this. We're not really going to, um, let me just check here, one and two here uh, and one. Yeah, there could be another move up here. I need to go to the tick chart, but I'm not going to really worry about it because it's not, it's not a biggie, you know, we're just going to allow this to play out and we'll, we'll, pick up some long trades here. We also, the wave four may pull back down to the wave four one lesser degree. So we're keeping our stop out of the way here as well. Um, if you want to take some profit, well then this is the this is the space to do it in. Um, we'll do our best to get back in over here. And uh, that's about it as well. So look, everything's going according to plan here. And uh, yeah, so all good, I think. And once again here too, we'll be looking up at, um, at, at, at 3,200 and 3,300 for the, the move up. It may just continue up as well because they've had such large corrections below the levels here. Uh, I have to go back to the weekly chart to check that out, but we won't do that now. We're just uh, shooting the breeze on uh, where the market's at at the moment. So well, your job, if you wanted to do it, if you're looking at things, is to try and go to a tick chart and count five waves up here. It may be finished or it may be... Uh, maybe have another little push up here but for me personally I'm just really waiting for for this move here I don't have money in this market I have some in gold stock um, but that's about it Alrighty, um, appreciate your time thanks for tuning in and the support cheers